Hey guys and girls, I'd just like to uh, to go over a little repair that I did on my wife's car, which I've actually done in the past, um, but maybe some of you guys and girls out there might find this helpful. So I found this product, it's called uh, PC7, it's an epoxy, so it's a two part, an A and a B, as you can see here. So you got your light and your dark, you mix those equally, and it should come out to kind of a color in between the two. I use a just a screwdriver. I find it easiest to dip in there, get the product out, mix it. Make sure when you take the one product out and put it down that you clean it off and then go and grab the other color. Mix it up evenly. Shout out to Bose Brewing and Lug Tread. Uh, probably one of the best beers out there. If you haven't had it, go try it. Um, they're not paying me for this. I just love the beer and it was available for mixing. So here's some of the other products that I use to clean up. We'll go over it when we're outside, but I like to use the Super Clean. The Super Clean's actually in there. Um, I just reuse the container. I like the sprayer on that one. And then I followed up with some lacquer thinner to try to clean everything up. So we'll go and take a look at what I've actually done. So I've installed this aftermarket spoiler on my wife's car. I just thought it looked kind of neat. It really gives the car an aggressive look. So the epoxy that came with it or the glue that came with it is starting to release. And I've had the problems on each of these corners before and now the middle's actually releasing. I had put some double sided tape, it didn't quite work so well. You can see I put the epoxy on here. This thing is not going anywhere. So I prepped this area by first cleaning with that degreaser, that super clean, which gets rid of all the dirt that's still trapped under there. Followed it up with the actual um, the lacquer thinner just to get rid of any residual stuff. I let it dry and I added the product under there. I'm gonna let it cure. And also in the past I've used this product for actually, it's hard to see, but it's right in there. And you can probably see a little bit better right here. It's got some dirt in there right now, but I've actually resealed this uh, handle to the vehicle because I actually ripped it off uh, at a gas station down near Detroit. Um, anyways, that's another story, but I tried a couple products, nothing really worked. I tried this product. It's been on there for probably two years, maybe even more, and uh, quite happy with it. So. Again, the product, it's called PC7. I picked it up in Canada at Home Hardware, good price. And uh, I'm sure other things work, but I'm gonna keep using this stuff until I can't find it anymore. Um, so that's just a little uh, clip of some of the repairs that I've done with it. Very happy with the product. Uh, if you found this video informative, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Not gonna hurt my feelings. Anyways, until the next one.